This will be a quick response, hopefully, to Psychobus's video attacking Girl, Girl Right Squad. And Psychobus's video is uh, named The Truth About Feminism, Introspection of Gender Theory Scholars. And I'm just going to address the first kind of main things that she attacks Girl Right Squad on. Uh, mainly because I don't really feel like going through her whole video 20 billion times and isolating every single thing. But there are basically two things that stuck out at me and uh, I guess Girl writes what if she wants to she can address the other things. Uh, there are two quotes that Psycho Bus kind of um, calls Girl writes what out on and um, I'm going to address those quotes if I can open up my thing, my quotey thingies. Uh, the first quote would be by comments and uh, where's my quote if any? Oh, here we are. So the first quote is by comments and uh, basically this this one is just it seems like a blatant lie to me. So I am actually at the timemagazine.com website right now and I'm looking at the article and uh, Psychobus basically sh says that the quote uh, that comments says they have a lot of pain, but it is not a pain that I would necessarily have spared them. I think it ideally initiates a process of self-exploration. So this is this is comments commenting on a man who is has been falsely accused of rape. How do I see a woman? And these are the questions that comments thinks that a man should ask himself. How do I see a woman? If I didn't violate her, could I have? Do I have the potential to do to her what they said I did? And uh, that quote is just blatantly in the article and it's under quotation marks and I'm looking at it right now so I really don't know where Psychobus is coming from and uh, later on Psychobus kind of says, oh where do you go right, what, where do you get your information from? Well I'm looking at the article and as, as far as I know, and I'll, I'll link the article for everybody, as far as I can see that is the real article and there she is in quotation marks saying that exact statement. Now, there is another statement before that, and that statement is, if a woman did falsely accuse a man of rape, she may have had reasons to. Maybe she wasn't raped, but he clearly violated her in some way. And <laughs> does that even sound any better than the latter statement? That's pretty bad also. Or what is she saying there, that uh, if a woman is violated in some way that is not forcefully physical, like if she has her feelings hurt, then she has like basically the right to accuse the man of rape and the man should kind of question himself. It's ridiculous. If in any other situation, say, if a man is walking down, or if a man is falsely accused of stabbing somebody or shooting somebody, and then it's proven that the man didn't actually shoot the person, you know, shoot that man kind of question himself about what he's done, well, I would probably say yes, but probably not the questions that comments put forward. So if a man is falsely accused of rape, I would say to the man that, you know, forget about thinking about how do I see women or if I didn't violate her, could I have? Think about more what kind of personality traits this woman has that you associated yourself with in the first place. And uh, think about how you can avoid, avoid those traits in, an, in the future. And if you are going to associate it, a woman like this, think about associating with her in a place with lots of cameras and lots of lights and lots of witnesses. Uh, this kind of also goes to the tune of, you know, like the whole thing about the cop telling women that they shouldn't dress as sluts. I mean, don't you think that's kind of telling women to think about if they were raped, what kind of location they should go to and what they should wear? Isn't that kind of like a fair statement as well in, in that case? I mean, if you think this is a fair statement, you should at the very least think that the statement that cop made is also fair, at least. But, you know, I'm not going to be holding my breath for that. Uh, the next quote is the quote by McKinnon. And yes, this quote, as far as my research goes, it has been paraphrased or, you know, it doesn't actually exist as being written down by her anywhere. Um, she might have still said it to somebody. And um, the reason why I think she might have said that is because I found the actual quote that perhaps she was paraphrased from. And I'm going to read out the, the whole quote. Basically, she says, when sex is violent, women may have lost control over what is done to them. 
but the absence of force does not ensure the presence of that control, nor, under conditions of male dominance, does the presence of force make an interaction non-sexual. If sex is normally something men do to women, the issue is less wh whether there was force than whether consent is a meaningful concept. So in that quote, and that quote actually <laughs> sounds a lot worse than what she is kind of uh, attributed to saying. I mean, she says a lot of things, and I recommend you have a look at the quote, and I'll, I'll put the quote down in the comments as well, in the description. And she's saying a lot of things there. I mean, I could probably make a whole video and just a comment alone, but, you know, she asked whether meaningful consent, uh, whether consent in itself is a meaningful concept, so whether the woman giving consent to a man is uh, meaningful. And then I think she's saying that in a, in a way the a man has like drugged a woman and you know I don't think she's saying that at all like according to the rest of her statement so you can think about you can have a look at at the statement yourself and decide what you think but I don't really don't think she's addressing uh, the regular stuff that you would think about when it comes to rape like a guy putting some drugs in a woman's drink and then dragging her out and her not consenting about it She's really saying something else here, and that something else is pretty fucking terrible, the way I see it. Again, um, look at things yourself. Avoid listening to people uh, just tell you what to do. Go do your own research. Uh, the reason why I'm an MRA is because I believe that what I'm saying is right, but in the end, it's going to be up to you, the viewer, to decide what is right. Um, one more thing I'm probably going to address Psycho Boss on is just a little thing that she said at the start. Uh, she was giving an example of being misquoted and she basically said that she thinks that rape is an only necessary case in the cases where a woman is poor, has been raped or something like that. But basically, as far as I could tell, she was saying that uh, rape is only necessary in cases where a woman is poor and has been raped. I mean, is that what you said or am I misquoting you here? Because if that is what you're saying, then that means that rape is a necessary, uh, necessary option for women who have not been raped and who are in a financially good situation. And if that is what you're saying, uh, I probably have to use that quote and tell a lot of your feminist friends that you have said that. And I think you might be surprised how many of his feminist friends might disagree with what you're saying. So again, please clarify that quote just for my own interest. Uh, because I've just found it very, very interesting. Okay, uh, see you later. Yeah, hopefully you'll answer this video. But I'm not holding my breath when you're actually linking it.